Hello everyone. It has been a busy fall semester at Brock, but an immensely rewarding one as well. And so I want to take this opportunity, my last video message to you of the year, to share a few quick updates with you, both about the work that is underway and that lies ahead. You've already heard several updates from me about the development of Brock's academic plan. And so I'm pleased to report that over the fall semester, the plan has benefited from consultations with seven Senate committees, as well as a generative discussion at Senate, and of course, dozens of conversations at the department or individual levels. I have since made a set of minor revisions to the plan, all of which are grounded in the feedback received during this final consultation process. On December 8th, the Planning Priorities and Budget Advisory Committee unanimously voted to recommend that Senate approve the draft academic plan, which is of course something I look forward to early in the new year. Now at this point, hundreds of members of the university community have helped to shape the plan uh, by engaging in the development or even the revision process, whether uh, during one of the periods of online consultation or the many discussions at meetings of chairs and directors, Senate committees or other forums. But it is really a result of this thorough, transparent and inclusive process that I can confidently state that the revised draft academic plan reflects the will and indeed has the support of the university community. And perhaps more than this, uh, I will happily attest to the genuine excitement that I've witnessed across the community now that we have a roadmap for Brock's academic operations that reflects our shared values and that is both bold and progressive. Now, in addition to the Senate approval of the academic plan, I look forward to working closely with academic and administrative units uh, to develop implementation plans for each of the actions listed in the plan. This, of course, is not going to be one of those documents that's, that you know, reads well but sits on a shelf and gets dusty. There will be regular progress updates presented to Senate, and of course, Senate's committees will also be involved in advancing various actions of the plan that fall under its purview. But beyond the academic plan, in the new year, we will focus on advancing things like revisions to our examinations policy, something that will soon be discussed at the Undergraduate Student Affairs Committee. We will be working with partners across the campus on things like classroom modernization, access to course materials, trauma-informed practices, our ongoing transition to Brightspace, our new learning management system, and of course, much, much more. And we will do so collaboratively, transparently, and with the full knowledge that it is when our instructors feel understood and supported that it in turn enables you to provide supportive and inclusive learning environments for our students. My friend Kevin Ganon writes in his book Radical Hope, a Teaching Manifesto, that the real work of change in higher education is done students by students, classroom by classroom, course by course, and it's done by educators who have committed to teaching because it and their students matter. Now I'm recording this message on December 12th, which means that we will be gathering later today to celebrate our university-wide teaching award recipients at CPI's Tribute to Teaching event. Recognition of exemplary teaching practice and a dedication to students is so important. So let me close by thanking you for your constant work in the pursuit of more effective, engaging and supportive learning environments. Thank you for the countless small but meaningful ways in which you extend yourself for our learners, in which you demonstrate humanity and care, not just for their intellectual development, but for their personal development and their well-being. But as you do all of this, of course, please do not also forget about the importance of self-care, of pacing yourself, and of course, reaching out to us in CPI whenever you need. I wish you a wonderful and restful holiday break, and I look forward to serving you in 2023.